though the King of England was dropping in. Well, it just so happens I haven't seen my brother Larry in five whole years. Wonder if he's as strange as ever. Now, don't you start on him. Just because he isn't married, that don't make him strange. Necessarily. <laughs> oh, won't Mama be excited when she sees that Larry's here? It's gonna be such... <gasps> or something. Well, in a sense, I'm a commercial illustrator. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, I do illustrations for various... Well, what do you say, Larry? How about a drink? Huh? They record. Will you cut that out? Larry doesn't want to drink this early in the day, for heaven's sakes. How about a beer? One beer coming up. You're a man after my own heart, Larry. Now, you know what, Larry? Last thing I heard about you was that you lost your job at some magazine or no, something, no, no, honey. No, 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 I, I finished my job, you know, I, I freelance. I'm, 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 doing a, I'm doing a really a very interesting... Uh, the boys will be here pretty soon. They're out showing their toys, some of the neighbor boys. And Larry does not want to hear about our boys, for heaven's sakes. He was just telling me how he lost his job. No, I didn't lose the job, you know. I really... Oh, I do wish you could have seen our boys though, this morning. They were so cute, honey. They were absolutely adorable. You remember Billy Joe? Yes. Well, you wouldn't believe him now. He's 11 years old. Well, Billy Joe, I got to tell you this. Billy Joe has been wanting a Killer Kelly doll for Christmas. He can sing the Killer Kelly doll jingle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got him one of them dolls down at Saxon's on the mall. See? Yeah, I got now, a discount there, you know, because see my hardware store. What has on that the... got to do with the price of potatoes? Will you tell me that? Awesome. So anyway, I got him one of these dolls down at Saxon's on the... Have you seen these Killer Kelly dolls, honey? Uh, no. They I... are the cutest thing. They're about yay high, and they wear these little gorilla uniforms. they got little bayonets to poke each other with. You know, anyway. So I thought that Billy Joe would really flip out if he got one of them for Christmas. Well, to make a long story short, he comes tippy-toeing down this morning, and he opens up that present, and he sees it's a Killer Kelly doll, right? So then, you know what he did? Well... He played with that Killer Kelly doll for five minutes, and then he went and got this old volleyball that we gave him last Christmas, and he played with that for a whole hour. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Isn't it, though? Well, tell me, hon, how long can you stay? Oh, I, only about three days at the most. I, I'm, I'm working on a deadline, you know. I, I, uh, I have a really well, we interesting get illustration. Ready I'm to surprise Mama yeah, when she gets here. For the, uh, space oh, you know, it's, it's going to be so exciting. Mama is coming with Ellen and Ellen's whole family. Oh, just think of it, Larry. This is going to be the first time you and me and Ellen and Mama have been together on a Christmas since we was kids. Some of my relatives are coming over if anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, honey, you tell me. Tell me, when in the world are you just going to get married and settle down? Yeah, this bachelor life, Larry, flitting around from job to job, that ain't no life for a man. Well, I don't exactly flit. <laughs> oh, that's Mama. That's Mama. Now, listen, listen. You, do, you get your camera ready so that you can snap Mama's face when she sees Larry, because there's going to be a big expression of surprise. Yeah, I'm Now, I want you to hide somewhere and pop out and surprise Mama, Larry. Well, look, couldn't I just stand right here? Larry, I didn't ask you to come all this way to surprise Mama just so you could stand in the middle of the room. <laughs> oh, please, honey, just hide somewhere and pop out and okay. say Merry Christmas. Sure. Real life. Okay, come on, Larry. <laughs> you hide over here, come up the stairs. Come on. You don't come down till I say, okay. Right. You got to get up there and say, oh, okay. okay. Remember, your cue is okay. <laughs> You, you got that thing focused? It's focused. <laughs>
little boy. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Well, you just wanted to surprise you. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? <laughs> I just wish Ellen Arthur and the kids could have been here. What do you mean? Isn't Ellen coming in? Well, they're having some kind of an open house or something, Eunice. They sent their apologies. <laughs> just like that selfish, stuck-up sister of mine. She can't take the time to stick her nose in the door and say Merry Christmas. Especially when her brother traveled 800 miles to surprise his family. Will you lay off of Ellen? How's she supposed to know you were going to pull this stupid surprise stunt? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sorry. Don't you apologize, Larry. You never did time anything right anyway. <laughs> Maybe later on you could drive me on over to Ellen's house. Her place is really the Ritz. Nothing like this cracker box. <laughs> You doing? You take and leave me your senses. Just opening up one of my presents. You give me that. It's not a present. Give me that package. My card's right here. Say, you give me that package. <laughs> now, we agreed this morning that we was going to open up our presents in order and not helter-skelter like maniacs. <laughs> Go out the now, car first and get the you'll be Mama, and then everybody. Larry's turn, and Ed, you're going to play Santa Claus, so you give Mama her present first. Don't want to be Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Well, Mama, look what Santa's got for you. Thank you. Now, Mama, when you undo that, you give the paper to Ed, and you put that paper in that big box over there so that won't be a mess. That's your job, okay? Right. So why don't I go out to the car and get the presents Larry, for everybody? Larry, what are you doing? Can't you wait a minute until your mama opens up our gift? Oh, sure. I'm sorry, Mama. Go ahead. Yes? Well, now, I can't imagine what it is unless, of course, it's the usual bathrobe. <laughs> oh, my bathrobe. <laughs> Thank you, Eunice. You're welcome, Mama. I thought maybe that a nice bright color would be nice for change. Oh, my, yes. Of course, it's not my style to be garish. Then I guess nobody will ever see me in it. Well, Mama, that's what I got it for. I mean, people are supposed to see you in it. It's a hostess robe, Mama. It's for entertaining. For entertaining who? Nobody ever comes to see me. Even my own son came to your house, not mine. Look, why don't I go out and get the stuff but in the I car? But I got right a right sneaking it's, suspicion it's... there's probably a pair of red slippers somewhere under that tree. No, Mama. No, there are no red slippers under that tree, so just get that right out of your head. Okay, if you say so, Eunice. Mama, listen to me. I am not kidding. We could barely afford the bathrobe as it is. Well, what am I supposed to do? Wear this gaudy old red robe with my old yellow slippers? <laughs> well, what difference does it make if nobody's going to see you in it? Oh, sure. You can't afford a pair of bedroom slippers for your poor old mama. But you can afford to throw away good money on that tacky apron you can't wear but once a year. <laughs> well, why don't you just exchange it then? Uh, right, I will. Where's the receipt? Well, I don't know right this minute. I hope you didn't throw it away. I don't want to go through what I did last year. <laughs> to clear everybody, stand still while I find Mama's receipt. <laughs> you exchange every single thing I ever get for you. There is just no pleasing you, is there? Ho, ho. Oh, shut up. So grumpy, you say it's got lots of goodies for you, too, Eunice. It's not my turn, it's Larry's. Now, Larry, you said I'm going to be Santa. I'm going to be Santa. I say Eunice opens her present next. Well, all right, I'll open this one, then. This is just a little token thing I got for you, Eunice. Thank you, Larry. Uh, I got it for the whole family. To Eunice and her whole family with love, Larry. That's very sweet, you know, I Larry. thought everybody could use Thank it. Thank you. And... As long as you insisted that I open up this thing, least you could do is have your camera ready to snap the expression of joy on my face! <laughs> Just don't get me in it, Ed. How the hell am I gonna get you in it? I'm pointing this way. <laughs> the universe.
universe. Oh, that's nice, Larry. Thank you. Might be a little bit over the heads of the boys. I hope you're not disappointed. Oh, honey, no. Don't be silly. I mean, by now, our boys know you're a little bit different. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's really something nice with a coffee table. <laughs> that's lovely. Just so big, though. My goodness, I don't know when in the world I'm going to finish it off. <laughs> well, now, Larry, my boy. Turn about is fair play. Got something for you. Mom, I almost forgot. Here, I got a, I got a little something for you. I, I didn't know quite what to get you, so I thought maybe if I got you a, a check, you know, that that might... Ah, Larry, you didn't have to do that. That's very nice. There you go, Larry. Thank you, Ed. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to get you something, but I didn't know what you needed, That's so all I... That's right. I, I... Don't you apologize, Larry. I don't expect you to take the time to go out and shop for a real present. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the five seconds it took to scribble that thing off. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, that's very nice. Yeah. It's a paint-by-number set. <laughs> you just fill in all these spaces over here, and then you get yourself a nice picture of a hog. <laughs> I just knew you'd love it, Larry. What with you being a drawer and all. We uh, really bought it for the boys, but then we figured it was too sissified for them. <laughs> They must be quite the little studs. Well, what do you say, Larry? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Larry. I was just going to say it, Mom. I certainly hope so, Larry. I never will live down the time your Aunt Fern gave you a coloring book for your birthday and you never did say thank you. <laughs> Mama, I was seven years old. He just stood there staring at the ground. I remember. His Aunt Fern never did forgive him, not even on her deathbed. <laughs> How long am I going to go on having to feel guilty about that damn coloring book? It's no wonder that you can't hold down a job when you got that kind of an attitude in front of your boss. Eunice, you don't even know how I work. I work by individual contract. Eunice, what the hell do you know about art anyway? It's a jungle out there. There's probably a dozen reasons we don't even know about for Larry always being fired. I am not always being fired. I've never been fired. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. I have a skylight studio with, with, with easels and bottles of ink and pens with their own individual points and everything. <laughs> And when I'm not working, people come over and visit me. And you know what they do when those people come over? You want to know what they do? I'll tell you what they do. They let me finish a sentence! <laughs> I, I can say a whole paragraph before I'm interrupted. And nobody thinks I'm peculiar, either. And nobody buys their kids Killer Kelly dolls for Christmas. And not one of them would be surprised if I tell you what I'm going to do with your... paint by number set. And as for you, Aunt Fern, thanks for the coloring book! <laughs> sure got a lot to learn about the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I forgot how touchy he can be if he don't get just the right present. You should talk the way you almost flipped out this morning when you unwrapped that waffle iron. Well, what's the idea of giving me a waffle iron for Christmas anyway, huh? Just to make bigger and better waffles for you to fill up your big fat stomach with? <laughs> Where are my grandson? Don't you start on me, Mama. Well, God knows I don't ask for much, Eunice, but you think you could keep him here for five minutes on Christmas morning? I mean, it would be nice if somebody would wish me a Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas!